Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yes, I am great. Thank you. Oh, that's great. My name is Lauren and I live in England. What's your name? Uh, yes, my name is Mohammad Ramzan and I live in India. Oh, wow. So what's some of your favorite things about living in India? Yes, this, uh, I mean, there are different religions. So we have a lot of other things like uh, the place which, where I am living. So that is a beautiful place because uh, that is in Kashmir. So everywhere is greenery. There we have the snowfalls. So there is a lot of stuff to, uh, yeah, to see. Oh, here. wow. Yeah, that sounds great. And so what do you like to do in your free time? Uh, nowadays, I have joined this Cambly. So I discuss with the people who are native speakers. Other than that, I also uh, do the coding. Yeah. Oh, wow. So what makes you want to learn English? Uh, basically, I am interested to uh, learn English because I have my clients in the foreign so they are in Europe and Australia and USA so in order to make my uh, make my English more accurate and become more confident so that's why I'm practicing here oh wow well you're doing very well good job okay thank you so uh, the thing is that in this uh, specific uh, time span I am interested to uh, take some questions from you and immediately I will be giving you the replies. So you have to ask me a lot of questions and I will <laughs> okay. give you uh, answers quickly. So in that way, I think that I can practice my English. Okay, cool. So how yes. old are you? Uh, I am 23. Cool. So are you still in school or have you left school now? Uh, I am a software professional, so working on mobile apps and website developments. Yeah. So how in India, how long do you normally go to school for? Uh, I mean, uh, you are talking about the graduation part or how yeah. long, how long? So when do you start school and when do you finish school? Yes. What are the ages? At the age of four, we start school and at the age of 20, we finish with the school. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. So what's, uh, do you live in the city or do you live more in the countryside? <laughs> uh, actually, <laughs> I am away from my hometown uh, that is about 20 kilometers and that is a small city here. Where I'm oh, really okay. Home. Yes. Yeah. Do you prefer living in the city or do you like living in other places? Uh, for now, I am interested to be in touch with the uh, professional people and also be in touch with the uh, people who are living in hometown. So, so most of the time I am spending in the city right now because according to my profession, I need to be updated and I have needed all the facilities. So that's why I prefer city right now. Oh, okay. Do you plan to visit any countries in the future? Any different countries? Yes, I wanted to visit almost all the countries in the world. <laughs> yeah. What's the one you want to visit the most? First of all, USA and yeah. then after the countries which are in the Europe. Oh, okay. What countries in Europe would you like to visit? For example, Netherlands and Saudi Arabia and uh, yeah those which are muslim countries yeah ah that's great yeah so have you ever visited any different countries in the past or have you stayed in india no no up till now i never visited anywhere oh okay do you for holidays do you travel around inside of india mm. or do you normally just stay in one place no, I stay in one place. I am a little bit introvert. I always stick with my <laughs> laptop. So that's why I never go uh, away from my office. <laughs> what do you like to do in your free time? Uh, yes, I make videos. I uh, do the uh, video calls. And other than that, I have some books to read. So in this in the earlier uh, this year i committed to never watch the movies but earlier i was spending time with the movies and all so yeah these were the few things yeah 
So what's the COVID situation like in India at the yes, moment? Everything is normal right now. Normal. Wow, that's yes. great. Yeah, it's a lot different here. Everything's sort of shut down at the moment. Okay. So in school, did you do any sports or activities like that? Or did you prefer to do more like online and focus on work throughout school and Yes, now that that I, I, uh, I'm more focused on the work which I'm doing online and earlier I was interested in uh, football, yes. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> everyone loves football here as well. Okay. So can you tell me some cool stuff or some fun facts about India? Uh, yes, we have some historical buildings here and other than that we have uh, diversity because there are a lot of different cultures inside of India. There are a lot of different languages. And other than that, uh, uh, people are living uh, uh, with the different uh, religions. So they are uh, living uh, together. And uh, yes, we have the democracy. So we have no uh, pressure at all. Uh, so these are the few things that we are having. Yeah. That's yes. great. Yeah, that sounds brilliant. Do you follow a religion? Yes. Yeah. So is it, you said that there's lots of different religions in India. So are there like, how many? Are there like lots or just a few main religions? Yes, there are uh, four or five main religions. Oh, and okay. Are, yeah. 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 That's, uh, that's very similar here as well. We have a few religions but we have one main religion there's england's religions christianity so maybe a bit different but we do have quite a few different religions so as well you, you are you are christian um uh, a little bit maybe i'm not uh, my family's a bit different we were raised more you can choose when you get to a certain age if you want to it wasn't really we never really got taught a religion when we were younger but in school, I had Christian schools, so maybe a bit. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And other than that, uh, what's your profession? Um, I'm a teacher. So at the moment during COVID, I teach online, but I hope to go back to teaching in person after COVID because everywhere has been shut down at the moment. Uh, it's quite serious with the COVID situation here. So we're not allowed out of our houses or anything. So at the moment, I'm balancing school and work at the same time because I'm going for a bachelor's degree. So oh, that will finish when I'm about 24. Okay, so yeah. you mean that uh, you are uh, doing the bachelor's degree as well right now? Yeah, So yeah, I which, am, yeah. In which stream, field? I'm doing uh, Asian studies, so I'm doing two languages, history mm -hmm. and learning about different cultures of East Asian countries. So I'm learning Japanese and Korean and doing like history, basic history and politics as well. Oh, so okay. it's a sort of a mixed match, sort of lots of things in the degree, <laughs> <laughs> yes, but it yes. gives me a year abroad. So I spend a year in Japan to mm -hmm. I get to a fluent level of the language, hopefully. So if I study in, in English, in English. Yep. So I'm at the moment, I'm in England and then um, next year or the year after I'll move to Japan for one year mm -hmm. and then I'll move back for my final year of my degree. And then after that, I'll move to maybe back to Japan or Korea or somewhere like that. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, great. So, so moving all about the place. <laughs> yes, that's fine. <laughs> okay. So what sort of things do you do in your work? You said you're a software engineer? Yes. What does that entail? What do you do for that? So basically, I divided my uh, schedule in the, into two parts. Uh, in the first half, I do my own projects. And on the second half, I support to the people who are my clients, like uh, oh, freelance okay. projects. Yeah. So basically, yeah. I uh, develop websites for them. And if they have any issues in their website, like troubleshooting, so that I also do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Maybe, yeah. 
So your clients will contact you when they have sort of issues or trouble and you'll yes. be able to walk them through to fix it. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So living in India, do you plan to move and live in any other countries or are you happy to live in India? Yes, currently I am happy to live in India uh, and after some time I am interested to uh, visit in other countries and uh, live for some time but not permanently. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's the same for me. I'd like to live in all different countries but not move permanently but just sort of live in different places and work in different places. So that's yes. the same. So you said that you like to read books and mm -hmm. what type of books do you like to read? Uh, basically, I also prefer to read the books uh, related to business like Think and Grow Rich, Power, Power of Subconscious Mind. And uh, other than that, I have also scheduled, uh, I have uh, a book of my Quran. So that is the translation of that. So I have uh, targeted to finish uh, at least 20 pages per day. So I read oh, wow, daily, yeah. daily, on daily basis. Yes. Oh, good job. Keep up the hard work. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So with studying English, do you have any questions or you need to know anything from me about English and studying English? Uh, yes. Can you please suggest to me any specific website or any specific online portal from where I can uh, explore the stuff related to English? Yeah, absolutely. So for practicing um, on your phone mm -hmm. um, for sort of all different things. So hearing how words are pronounced, practicing different phrases and some tense work as well. Duolingo is great because you can do five, 10 minute intervals, practice every day. So that'd be great. Cambly obviously is amazing more for practicing your speech and your listening skills mm -hmm. um, other things I definitely recommend could be italki as well this is for practicing so this is for like language exchange so you could teach someone a little bit about your language and they'll teach you about English and their language as well so these are two great apps that you can go to on your phone. So they're quite easy to access. Okay, um, other than that, mm -hmm. not just websites. I would also recommend listening to English music, reading English books, um, watching English movies, English TV shows. Um, first, maybe with subtitles, English subtitles, so you mm -hmm. can read and listen. And then after that, try and watch it again without subtitles and just hearing the English. If you get stuck or you don't understand something, then you can go take a note of it, research it, understand it, rewatch it. This is a great way, like amazing way to learn quickly, practice English quickly. The same with reading. So if you get quite a thick English book, you go through, you read. If there's a word you don't understand, note it down, research it add to the word, keep reading until you you can read a whole page or three pages, four pages, understanding everything. So this is a really, really quick way to really level up your English, to really improve your English very quickly. So okay. this is what I'd recommend. So yeah. you have also done the same things which you are recommending me? Yes, so I, for different languages, of course, other than English, I've used Duolingo for French, which I'm now at a medium fluent level because I've been not as dedicated with it. <laughs> I haven't been practicing as hard as I should be. Um, but I got um, all A's, but when I was studying French in my exams, I got all A's doing this method. So I do highly recommend it. It's also proven um, to be very effective through studies, uh, which um, route of uh, studying was most effective. I definitely recommend this. If you're taking in English from all different areas, you're immersing yourself into the language. So you're completely surrounding yourself with the language. This is really going to improve your skills so quickly. 
So you're doing amazing. We only have a few more seconds left, but it was really nice to meet you. Okay, thank you so much work. for your time. Yes, I have also learned uh, the new ways that how I can improve. So thank you once again. Thank you. Bye.